It's Karen Turk with Eye on LA. I'm doing a guest appearance here in Hollywood, and I am so excited to be sitting down with Lisa London. Lisa, we're cast in a movie together. I know, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> I could not even be like more excited because I feel like the movie, and we had this conversation offline, the movie's kind of meant to be. It's one of these kind of cosmic events. It is. It truly is. And the minute I met you, I felt like, okay, cool. This is going to really work. <laughs> it's going to really work. And I feel like this movie, like almost like something's like tugging at me, something additional just for me to get this role and be cast in such an amazing movie with somebody who really is a Hollywood staple like yourself. I feel Thank really you. honored and amazed to even be in your presence today and be doing this interview. You have such an amazing career. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you've really, you've been in a lot of movies with some major players here in Hollywood. I have. I've, I've really had a blessed career. I came here very young, which, um, was a fabulous thing in those days. Nowadays, I think you have to be a little bit more wary, but I guess, you know, there's always been the pitfalls you could fall into. Yeah. And you just have to keep your wits about you and stay focused and do the work. And I think it's been a lot of luck. Mm -hmm. And I know, yes, of course, talent's involved too, but a lot of it is hard work. Yeah, I mean, and I know you were cast in some roles, some pretty big roles, pretty early in your career, and I've heard you say before that it's a little bit of luck. It's probably a lot of talent, too. <laughs> but you. what are some of the memories you have? You were in a movie with Johnny Depp. That was one of the first movies, I think, that you were in here in Hollywood. I love that you mentioned that because it was my third film, mm -hmm. and I shot it in Florida. We shot in Key West, which I absolutely adored. And it was not only Johnny Depp, it was Andrew Dice Clay, Michael oh, wow. Bowen, Rob Morrow, Hector Elizondo, Leslie Easterbrook. It was this amazing cast, and it was called Private Resort. That's so cool. It was really special. And yeah. I, uh, I can't wait to be shooting in Florida again. And I love that I get to say that I'm going to be on location in Kissimmee. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be, we're going to be shooting in some really cool areas in Central Florida. You're going to see some really cool things, and it's just such a beautiful area, and there's something very nostalgic about it mm. for me. So I'm excited, you know, being Mrs. Florida, to kind of be in my home state and be able to film a movie is just such a blessing. So one of the 80s movies that you were in that was really a big deal was Dragnet. It was a huge deal. I mean, just to get to work with Tom Hanks and Dan Aykroyd and Christopher Plummer, Elizabeth Ashley, Dabney Coleman. It was amazing. I, I got cast in that, a very funny story also. I was literally just on a dance floor at a, at a famous club in Hollywood called Helena's in the, in the 80s. And um, the head of Universal, Josh Donan, who I went to school with in Palm Springs, mm -hmm. he said, yeah, Lisa, I'm casting something, you know, maybe we'll bring you in. And lo and behold, I got it. And that, that is so amazing. cool. Yeah. What was, was the great. best thing about working on that set? What was like one thing that really stands out to you as a memory about that movie? My biggest memory is the compliment that I got from Dabney Coleman and Christopher Plummer. They told me I had a gift for comedy. And ah. that was just reinforcement and made everything worthwhile for always saying that I could do both comma and dramedy and never focusing on one and the other, just loving it and giving it equal dedication every time I worked. So. so, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask you about is the current projects you're working on. I know you have a lot of things that are coming out right now and things that are happening here in the present. Yes. Uh, I'm so excited to say that I've got two fabulous films that are out right now. Uh, one is called Samurai Cop 2 Deadly Vengeance, <laughs> and it is fabulous. It's Tommy Wiseau is in it, who did this movie called The Room that James Franco then did The Disaster Artist about. So, okay. But Samurai Cop 2, it is just an absolute feel-good spoof movie, like Airplane meets, uh, what are some of the other ones that are like kind of like spoofs on it? It's fabulous. And then I have a horror film called Holy Terror that's on Ooh. Amazon Prime right now. And it's like a modern day exorcist with a lot of crazy twists. Awesome. And I have one that I went to Cannes. I was at the Cannes Film Festival last year. It's called Do You See Me? And it's directed by Corbin Timbrook, who also happens to be one of my best friends, so it was fabulous. And oh, nice. It did f really well screening in Cannes, and that's going to be out in theaters pretty soon. Well, it's nearly great. departed as a comedy film, so you're, you're back at your roots now It's again. fabulous. I love that it's a black comedy. 
That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. There's there's like this bittersweet. It's like a dark side to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's and a little it, drama. It reminds me of Heaven Can Wait, and I love the arc of my character. I don't want to give it away, but no. I start off one way and then I turn another. <laughs> Which is so good. Yes, and I'm excited because I've had four babies in real life, but Aww. I actually get to have a baby in this movie. So I, I think that's pretty cool. Well, and I am everyone's favorite aunt. I don't have children, but uh -huh. all my nieces, nephews, they worship me. <laughs> all my friends' kids worship me. And I have a mini-me niece that literally is a clone of mine. So it's not going to be a stretch for me to be in love with my little niece at all. That's so cool. And I'm so excited that you're going to be my sister-in-law. So, you know, welcome to the family. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really glad you're going to be joining me in Florida. I really look forward to working with you. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be awesome. Wait. Can't wait. Florida, here we come. <laughs>